let's make a room in my style with all natural things I found from the Dollar Tree. Coming up after this. Okay, so it seems we're going to be doing the video like this. We are using this backdrop that I made with stuff from another dollar store in Canada called Dollarama. And it's just canvases, wooden canvases, cutting boards, and stir sticks, popsicle sticks. Uh, I have videos on how I made the walls. And yeah, it's just, it's my favorite look and it's the where I would want to live. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I think first we should start with putting in furniture. I love these things. Now these come in two different sizes. You can get them like this, and then you can get them like this with a string. And they're just really cool so we can use them for different purposes. Here's some of the knickknacks that we'll be sticking in. I've got all kinds of that, but first we have to do the furniture like this here morning next but yeah we, we can't move on to those yet furniture first so a thing that i like to do is i like to take some of these uh other smaller wooden canvases what do they call them a wood panel wood panels and you can use these for many things. Sometimes I just like to hang them on the wall like picture frames, but you can make a nice little table and this is totally my industrial natural style. That's the kind of room that we will be making today. Now you can also use putty, which I do a lot. I hope I have my putty around here and attach them. You can glue it or you can do it, but that is one table, but we're actually not ready for the table yet. Also, with the putty, and I know you've seen these blocks also at the Dollar Tree, so that is one of the big lessons I think there is to learn in making dioramas look real. I see lots of people use these little boxes and stuff, but it, when you put on little feet, it really does take it to the next level. And I think we are gonna put that into this little alcove. I like to use that for a stove, but I don't really have something I can make a stove with. So I'm gonna put a shelf there. And because we have so many knickknacks, I also wanna do that. We've got lots of things to put in. And then I'm gonna put another one there and Let's bring in something else I found. These like little church windows, they came in two styles. I bought four of them. I really do need to do more with light and windows in the future. But for now, just these faux windows make me happy and they work for me. So I think I'm gonna do something like that. And I think I'm gonna go with day instead of night. But they, those were a really cool find, these things, and I want to use them. So I think that's what I'm going to put in here. And my wall isn't flat right now because of my setup. Hopefully that looks good. Yeah, that does. That looks good. We're going to start with that. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in another one. And hopefully I can find... I don't have my putty left. But like I said, you can either use putty or you can use glue if you wanna. I wanna have versatility to my furniture. So I'm going to use putty on these pieces or tacky, whatever this stuff is called. I already have a lot of tacky, but I assume Dollar Tree also carries it. And I'll just do that. And then these two shelves are also puttied together. And I think I will put that right here on the wall. Yes, we do want him in here. So let's add the table and put that here to put things on. And let's construct a bed. And you probably have seen these there. I'm going to remove the sticker. 
usually they come off really easy. And I'm also going to remove this string. It's stapled in there. The staples came right out with it. I can clean that up later if I want to. But that will make a really great headboard, I think. And for my bed platform, I had thought that maybe I would use these same platforms, panels is what they call them. But when I look at it right now, it's kind of, it's kind of a narrow bed. And I think that's too narrow for my liking. So I think we're gonna go with some of these regular canvases stretch canvases is what they call them and i'm going to cut this open with my thumb if i can do i have anything sharp here i'm going to put feet on these as well because we need them to come off the floor it really is an important step to making things look good this fresh piece of tacky that I'm using is not sticky and I don't know why. So I'm putting that in the corner so I can put more of these little square blocks. Four legs on those. Place that right here in the middle. I'm going to do another one. The bed isn't really going to be long enough per se that's going to be long enough for a diorama. Another one of these platforms, place it here, really nice, and make sure that it's even, and then I'm going to put on the headboard at the top. Yeah, I think this would be the basic setup of the furniture. This wall is empty, I might put a shelf on here, but I really like these easels, and I think in this place, this is the kind of artwork I would like on my walls. I just like simple white, but I think we are going to lean this up against here. I'm also a huge fan of these palettes, which sometimes you can use them for a bed. I mean, that's really realistic, but I don't really have a purpose for them today. Actually, I'm going to put one over here on the wall, kind of as a decoration in between another one of these easels so you can always find different kinds of these and I like them but something that you have to pay close attention to is the thickness of the leg because if it gets too thick it will start looking disproportionate so kind of with dioramas you really do want to choose things that are really really thin because that's the scale, and that goes for materials you use if you're making clothes too. Things have to be small. So I am going to layer these two things over here. Wait, I don't know if I want to use the black one. I think I also have, yeah. Black is something that I normally incorporate into my life because in my bedroom anyway, I have a cast iron bed. So I do put in a lot of black, but we're not going to do that here. We're going to use all of the white things because this is a natural looking room. See, these legs are getting on the thicker side, so you can see the comparison here. They are, they are, they're not much thicker, but they are a little bit thicker. And I guess because of the scale, the tinier you go, the tinier you want the things to be. I am just going to layer my favorite things over here on the wall and I think that looks really really good. Let's see where we've started decorating already. Next we'll probably go to I don't know, these little containers. I don't know if we're ready for this but I think this was a four pack of these little metal containers. We're going to use this as a tray and that's going to be a nice little tray. This we probably can use for something else too, like 
of the elites. I love these colors and I don't know, I just thought they looked so cool. So this is going to be probably some of the only color, but it's natural colors. And I'm going to like plop those in here and put them on a shelf. And maybe we want to add another shelf to this. Yeah, we do. I think that was always my plan. Because we do have so many knickknacks, we want to take advantage of them. And then maybe we'll put stuff on top, but maybe we won't. One of my latest finds. Okay, we can talk about chairs. Now, with my table, we can use these little boxes as great stools. You can use these themselves as stools for a table like this. I, that's why I love these crates because they're so versatile and you can use them in so many ways. And then these blocks. I love to use these blocks but I'm not sure we're going to use those today either and that's because I have just found these barrels. We have the large, the small, and the medium. Now these things work so well as chairs and I kind of want to use them to make it match, but I just think to make things not all the same and to make things a little different, we can use these barrels. You know what else I have to see? I have to see if you can layer them like Matryoshka. Yeah, you can, totally. So I've not seen these before, and I've not seen anybody use them online, but maybe they're old. Uh, Dollar Tree is new to my area anyway. I had to go really far before to get, go to a Dollar Tree. And it's pretty new to Canada too, I believe. Okay, so two of these perfect little stools for the table. And then that leaves these ones, I think, perfect for night tables. So it's going to make it match. And it's going to be cool. I chose ones that had more wood grain in them because that's what I like. Ed's character. So that's looking real good. It's real busy in here. But I don't think too busy yet. And these things, I guess I'll just put those on the shelf. Or one or two of them, maybe one over here. I don't know how I'm gonna group stuff yet, but we'll see. I found all kinds of new bottle shapes. You know, there's the regular ones that we see all the time. Everyone has these small ones from there. I like to take out the corks. You might see in another video where I put the corks in beads and I made them into crocs. But this time, I mean, there's there's so many different sizes, but for this room because it is such a natural room we're definitely going to want to keep the cork but i am super excited to find these brown ones in three different sizes and then i found the glass ones in, in different sizes the table shouldn't be decorated the first because i will drop everything but i do want to do a little tray full of different sized containers. I might also want to mix in these new ones. Now, I wasn't sure about these. I've seen people use these in dioramas before and they just didn't look in scale. But these new ones are a bit stubbier. Oh, they're new to me. These, these look like jars. They look like the kind of mason jars that I like to collect. So I might do a whole little pot part here. And you know what that also brings me to? The silica gel. You might see these. I think these come in packs of 10. These also. We're doing a natural room, but these look so real and they look like storage containers. I love to use those. I keep my Christmas decorations in them. But every time I get a silica pack, I save it. Do you know what those are? The little things that keep your products dry. And inside, sometimes you get clear ones. Sometimes you get this colored ones. 
I'm trying to show you what the little baggies look like right here. So here's my collection of them. I mean, I mean to open these up and empty them into the containers, but you can fill up these jars with things like that, where you don't have to really buy anything new. You can just use, I mean, I love the colors. So just doing that, putting it on the shelf. I mean, I don't mind having empty jars too, but once I put something in it, it looks way, way better. So now we have jars of lentils or whatever you want them to be. And then we also have this other size. So that is great. Smaller little mason jars. And because that tray is metal, these might look good in a collection on this tray. Do I want to put too many things on the tray? Less is always more, guys. Okay, what else do I got to show you here? Clothespins. We all love these clothespins. I think I have some that are open already. Yeah. Please. Just to fill up a jar sometime, you might want to put little any little thing that you have in there. I actually keep my clothespins in my mason jar. Funny enough. But yeah, just filling the jar with the little things you find are great. And I'm gonna do that and maybe we'll put this big one, which isn't so ridiculous after all. Maybe that will look good once we have some stuff in it on the shelf back there. Yeah, it's looking real good. Some other little things that I found here. I've decided not to do the black room, remember, are some wooden black letters. And then these are really cool. These little scrabble tiles you can spell something. Put that on the shelf. That's always going to look good. But, oh, I found some of these. These fit into the room. And these little tiny people. I don't know what these could be, but if I found something that was in my scale and this scale for my room, I would definitely want to buy it, kind of like a bowling pin or something, or even it is supposed to be a little figure. Put that on the shelf because it looks so good. I think we better put some water glasses on the sides of these. Let's see if I can find some of these small ones. So that's a cool little touch just to put a little bottle of water and then we can put a glass next to it. And I think that's something we can give to everybody, each person. It's like a really fancy natural hotel here. We're gonna do that. Have you seen these wood things? These wood things are great. Here's another alternative to using the tacky. These are Velcro dots. They could work to putting furniture together in different ways. Also, these buckets are some of my favorite. Now, I think I did this before. Is that all I'm going to do is just put... I usually keep a bucket of this wood next to my fireplace, but you can maybe use these as plates. They might not be the right scale or as chargers is more what I mean. But I usually do just put this bucket in the diorama, but you're not going to really see it. So I want to see this bucket though, so maybe I'll just have to put that in front of the table so it shows up in pictures. Or put it back in the corner here. Or put it on the shelf. These buckets come in different colors. You can get them in white. And I like to use them as garbage cans and little storage things. You can put them on the shelf and they're great. I might want to use both of them. Here, I'm just going to put this one on the shelf over there. I found this matching dish towel and pot holder. This was I found a while ago. But I really like the pattern. We're not going to do. I'm trying to avoid black in this room. But that could make a really nice quilt to do the bed up with. But instead, I'm going to go with these. I also bought these a long time ago at the Dollar Tree. 
and I just really loved the colors, and I guess they do. I mean, I'm not one for using blue, but it's just something about this design that I loved, and the colors and everything. So I think this does kind of go with these fall colors or those threads that I wanted to really put in. Oh my goodness, do you know what I didn't do? I haven't brought out the brown jars that I was so excited about. Okay, so I'm gonna just fold that strategically, place it on the bed like so. I like that. I mean, I would definitely do this better before Instagram pics. But from my vantage point, that's looking pretty good. Is the tag showing? I see a thread. I gotta make it look better. The perfectionist in me. Like I said, it helps when materials that you use are thinner. But you can carefully mold this stuff. I really like that edge. So I'm happy to keep it. You could also cut this up and make it better. It's looking pretty good from what I'm seeing. I guess that looks okay. Okay. So these metal letters came in two different packages. I thought that was funny. So they had one from A to M and they had one from N to Z. Since we do have all of these metallics in here, it really matches him too. Look at his dog pegs. You see that? This is sad. I don't know where to put these. I mean, I do know where to put them. Oh, they're so nice. I love these. Wow. W. Wow for W. I don't know. Um, it's a, such a shame to just put one, but I am just gonna put there. That's the thing. Also, less is more. So let's put them in one of these little boxes for storage. Come back later. The room is pretty full. I mean, this is minimalist style and I want to like it, but the texture on the walls adds to it and... Come on, let me open up these little jars. I'm gonna put a few of those down here and I'm gonna group them with the different sizes. And that always looks good. Of that size, and then the size is a bit bigger. And then I'm putting them in groups of, I don't know, usually groups of five is good, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do six here. Like so. Those, those look so good. I want, I want more of those. I don't know where to put them. I guess I can put a little one over here. Bring some brown in over there. Oh yeah, I love these. Such great colors. But too much is too much. Okay, what else can I do? And maybe I want to swap these out and put some to get some brown in here. I'm gonna put that over there and then this. And maybe we'll put a regular glass. And that. Wherever I put the regular glass. I lost the regular glass in there. Anything else I have here? I have these. You might have seen these. I think I might have bought these twice because I didn't know I had them, but we can use this one, this white one. This can be, we can fold it up and use it as a pillow and put that up at the top. That's going to look nice. That's going to put some dimension to the bed. And then sometimes I like to put these blocks on the shelf and it can look like in a compartment or it can look like a door on the shelf, so I like to do that too. And I could also get some tacky, but I think this might be a little tacky. And we could spell some stuff. 
example of the wall with these letters. Whoa, that's really shining. But I like my plain walls, and this is what this is kind of the look that I was going for with the natural look and all these my favorite things from the Dollar Tree. Can I do something with these clothespins? I don't know. I think you're supposed to make wood dull peg clothespins. That's what their intentions are. But I like this. I don't think there's anything I can really do with it. I could put it on the shelf though. And make it look oh I can oops. Oh. Besides me knocking the wall down. I think that looks good. See it's just a little something extra that I love to put in there. It looks good. I like this. I wanna live in this room. I can load up the shelves with more bottles and more little things but i don't think i have to and i'm so happy i want to move in right now this guy looks really happy here he can probably lay down in this bed and be super super he's flexing on his new room he loves it here i love it here i hope you're happy with this this is my style what would you do differently? Would you put more color into your room? I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Here's some Jenga bricks. I did buy these also to put in the room. And oh my goodness, this shelf is coming off the wall. You can get these Jenga blocks in half the size. What do they call them? They're not Jenga, they're Tumbling Tower Game. And when I saw that you can get double for the same price, I uh, grabbed these up. And little things like this are perfect to use for like legs. And but I just thought, hey, just like that clothespin, I can just put that on the shelf. And I mean, I have too much on that shelf already. Let's do a, a grouping, the upside, upside down Z. And I could put another jar over here with that. Add group, groupings of threes or fives, prime numbers, odd numbers. But yeah, I think I can do a lot of these. I don't know. I just, I love natural wood. This sparks so much joy. Could use it maybe as kindling put it in here. I'm surprised I didn't find any plants, but to tell you the truth, I didn't look for any plants. So maybe I should probably do that. But this room makes me so happy. This is where I want to live. It looks like a pioneer place. And that is kind of my aesthetic industrial pioneer. Let's see if I can make a nice thumbnail for this. I love his outfit too. This is This is totally my all-natural vibes. What do you think of those pops of color in there, guys?